What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Jump. I want to first start off by saying that the Shikari Richardson topic is very controversial. And I know there are people on either side, those who support her and those who don't. And I want to have a conversation about racism, especially against African-Americans in the United States. I know there are other blacks there. I, I would assume you experience the same uh, policies that we do. But, it, it, but it's Black History Month. So we got to talk about the biases that are allowed for other groups that have been um, not giving to us. And indeed, Shikari Richardson was denied a shot at the Olympics because she tested positive. For marijuana all right uh now russian skater camila valivia has been allowed to compete despite testing positive for a banned drug now shikari richardson makes a very very solid point the only difference i see is i'm a black young lady it's all in the skin now is she right about that the answer is yes yes i cannot see how the russian skater who tested positive for a banned substance and can compete, and Shakari Richardson, who tested positive for a banned substance, could not compete. And Shakari Richardson would have lost, all right? There was no way she was gonna win. The lady who beat her ran the second fastest 100 meter dash time in the history of the sports, okay? Only Flojo, all right? Florence Griffith Joyner, the late, African-American track star was the top record. A record that is probably going to be beat in the next few years. But that's the truth. Here's the hardcore reality that we need to talk to African-Americans about and blacks across the world. Even though that's the truth, guess what? We're going back to the original position, Shikari. What does that have to do with the fact that you use drugs and you shouldn't have done it. See, this is this is where blacks get it, they get it wrong. And I know a lot of people are gonna be upset with me about this because what happens is this. When we talk about black on black crime and police brutality, you know, when we talk about this, well, okay, uh, um, a white cop kills a black man, right? A lot of folks get upset about it. Black folks kill black people. Uh oh, well, their people are quiet. It's not the same situation, but it's similar. Right, that, that, that debate. And the reality is, is that blacks should not be killing each other at all. Even though when whites kill them, it's wrong. The same thing with Shakari Richardson. Why are you using drugs, boo? Even if she can compete, it has nothing to do with the fact that you personally broke the rules. Are you saying that you want to be able to break the rules too? Or you were heard to be banned too because you got banned? It doesn't matter, actually. I'm gonna tell you why. Because until black people understand that you gotta be accountable for what you do, who cares what anybody else does? I don't care. I'm not dealing with what the other person did. If you don't like the rules, don't run for the Olympics anymore, okay? I'm accountable for what I'm doing. I'm worried about me. And Shikari Richardson is using every excuse not to be competitive. Shikari, why were you smoking weed? You shouldn't have been smoking weed. You knew it was wrong. Don't give them any chance to take you out of the Olympics. All right? African-Americans have been redlined. We have been, as long as we're going to be in the country, we're going to have this problem as a minority group. If you don't want to be discriminated against, in the world or less of it, I got a suggestion, you can move to Africa, which most of y'all not gonna do, okay? So you know how it is. Until we get together and continue to push our civil rights fights to where it needs to be, it's gonna be problematic. However, I'm dealing with the fact that Shakari Richardson, it doesn't matter what the Russian lady did, okay? You did yours months before that. You shouldn't have done it in the first place. 
and black people, we have to stop looking at, well, what about them? I commit the crime. I get 10 years. He commit the crime. He get three years. Well, what about it? Same thing with the crack and the, and, and the cocaine de debate. Crack cocaine, you got um, more years than powder cocaine. Okay, because whites use it. Fine. That's your argument. Why are you selling crack cocaine? Why are you breaking the law? I, I saw what I want to deal with. You would not even be in jail if you weren't selling crack cocaine. I know one thing, I will never have to worry about doing banned substances because I don't take them. I don't have to fight no gun charges. I've never had no guns. I don't do drugs. You see how, how easy my life is? You see, if you do what you're supposed to do, you don't got to worry about, well, what about the other person? All right? In life, when you're black, you know you have to be double as good. They're making the rules right now. They're in power right now. Until the world changes, then that's how it is for right now until we can do better. But we got to go to the personal accountability. Stop looking at what she did. What didn't you do? Because it's not even in the same sport. We got to stop fighting for the rights for black people to mess up. Like, okay, people will be on Twitter talking about this. It's not fair. Well, what about this? What about the fact she shouldn't have been doing it in the fucking first place? What about that? I'm looking at that. Shouldn't have been there. Shouldn't have been doing it. You knew what could happen. You did it anyway. Only work on that. Be accountable. Only who cares about what she's doing. Even I know that it's wrong. And she is right. But she's right and wrong at the same time. Because it really has no bearing on you. You want the ability to be able to do what she did and get away with illegal shit. So if they do that, then everybody got to do it. And I understand it. You're absolutely right. Guess what? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. That's the problem. It doesn't matter. What are you doing in your everyday life? And we got to teach our kids. Hey, listen, like when I was coming up, my dad let me know right away. Want to do something in life? Want to be great in this country? You're going to have to work two to three harder times harder than white people. That's the way it is right now until we can do better. Be the best at whatever you can be. I'm 40 years old. I'm living to that every day. Every day, I'm trying to be the best I can do. Not worried about what white folks are doing. Not worried about what even black people are doing. I'm worried about what I'm doing. And my life is so much better that way when I'm worried about what I'm supposed to be doing. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I really appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe at the bell, check out the first clip at the top. And as you know, the buffoon remains at all time high. I'm out. Yeah.